humanity had flourished across the stars, colonizing distant planets and establishing a network of thriving civilizations. In this vast expanse, humans weren't alone. Various alien species coexisted, each bringing their own cultures, technologies, and wisdom. Trade routes crisscrossed the galaxy, fostering a golden age of peace and prosperity. The galaxy seemed boundless, and with every new discovery, the future appeared even brighter. War was a distant memory, relegated to the history books, and the notion of a unified threat seemed implausible. This was a time of exploration and collaboration, where species once at odds now worked together for a common good. The tranquility that enveloped the galaxy was like a fragile, shimmering veil, one that masked the lurking darkness just beyond the stars. Then came the hive. At first, it was just a whisper, a strange anomaly on the edge of known space. But as it drew closer, its true nature was revealed, a vast, collective mind that devoured everything in its path. The hive wasn't just an enemy, it was an all-consuming force. Planets were stripped of life, civilizations were absorbed, and entire species vanished without a trace. The hive moved with a terrifying purpose, a single consciousness directing its countless drones with unerring precision. There was no negotiation, no reasoning, only the relentless march of the hive as it consumed, absorbed, and grew. The hive's strength lay in its unity. Each drone was a mere extension of the hive mind, a part of a greater whole that knew no fear, no hesitation. The sheer scale of the hive was incomprehensible. Where one drone fell, a hundred more would take its place, each driven by the same, unyielding will. It was an enemy unlike any other, unstoppable, unyielding, and seemingly invincible. The galaxy had never faced a threat of this magnitude, and as the hive's advance continued, it became clear that this was not just a battle for survival, but a war against annihilation. The outer colonies were the first to fall. These distant outposts, once vibrant with life, were reduced to barren husks almost overnight. The hive struck with devastating speed, overwhelming planetary defenses before any effective resistance could be mounted. Human forces, spread thin across the vastness of space, found themselves unable to respond in time. Entire systems went dark, lost to the relentless tide of the hive. Panic began to spread as news of the hive's conquests reached the inner worlds. Refugees poured into the core systems, their stories filled with horror and despair. The military scrambled to mount a defense, but every attempt was met with overwhelming force. The hive's numbers were staggering, its coordination flawless. It seemed as though no power in the galaxy could stand against it. Desperation set in. The realization that traditional military tactics were failing led to a grim decision. In the heart of humanity's last bastions, a plan was formed. The Bloodthirsty Brigade, a name spoken in both fear and respect, was called upon. These were no ordinary soldiers. They were veterans of countless battles, hardened by years of warfare and known for their ruthless efficiency. Where others would falter, the Bloodthirsty Brigade thrived. Their reputation for brutality was unmatched, their willingness to do whatever it took to win made them the perfect candidates for a mission that no one was expected to return from. The mission was simple in its impossibility, infiltrate the hive, strike at its very heart, and create a moment of vulnerability. It was a suicide mission in every sense, but the brigade didn't hesitate. They knew the stakes. Humanity was on the brink, and if there was even a sliver of a chance to stop the hive— they were willing to take it. The decision was made, and with grim resolve, the Bloodthirsty Brigade prepared to face the deadliest enemy the galaxy had ever known. The Bloodthirsty Brigade was more than just a unit. It was a legend forged in blood and fire. Among its ranks were warriors whose names were spoken with a mix of awe and dread across the galaxy. There was Captain Voss, a tactical genius with a reputation for leading his men through impossible odds. His eyes, cold and calculating, bore the weight of a hundred battles, each scar on his body a testament to his survival where others had fallen. Beside him was Sergeant Cade, a towering figure known for his unmatched strength and ferocity in close combat. His presence alone was enough to intimidate enemies and rally his comrades. Lieutenant Mira, sharp-eyed and quick-witted, was the brigade sniper, her shots as deadly as her tongue was sharp. 
Each member of the brigade had their own story, a history steeped in violence and survival, and together they formed a unit feared by both friend and foe. Their reputation was not just built on skill, but on a willingness to do whatever was necessary to achieve victory. In previous battles, the brigade had shown no mercy, employing tactics that others would consider barbaric. They struck fear into the hearts of their enemies, their brutal methods leaving no room for hesitation. Entire planets had fallen under their assault, their victories marked not just by the defeat of their enemies, but by the total annihilation of opposition. Among the human colonies, they were revered as saviors, yet also feared for their ruthlessness. Alien races spoke of them in hushed tones, legends of the bloodthirsty brigades spreading like wildfire, painting them as demons in human form. They were the embodiment of war's darkest aspects, warriors who thrived in chaos and whose names had become synonymous with terror. When the order came down for the mission to infiltrate the hive, there was no hesitation. Each member of the brigade knew the significance of the task before them. This was no ordinary battle. It was a one-way journey into the heart of the deadliest force the galaxy had ever known. The weight of this knowledge hung heavily on them, but there was no room for doubt. They prepared in silence, checking and rechecking their gear, honing their weapons, and steeling themselves for the fight ahead. Yet beneath their hardened exteriors, old wounds began to resurface. Voss recalled the comrades he had lost over the years, wondering if he would soon join them. Cade grappled with the fear that even his strength might not be enough this time. Mira, usually so composed, found herself haunted by memories of the lives she had taken, questioning whether this mission would be her redemption or her doom. Despite the uncertainty, the brigade moved forward with a grim determination. The time for reflection was over, and as the moment of departure arrived, they donned their armor, concealing whatever doubts or fears lingered within. The departure from the last human stronghold was somber, marked by a heavy silence. There were no grand speeches, no promises of victory, only the understanding that this was likely the last time they would see friendly faces. For some, there were no farewells, having long severed ties with anyone outside the brigade. For others, brief, quiet moments were shared with comrades, a final exchange of words or a simple nod of acknowledgement. The atmosphere was thick with unspoken emotions, but the resolve in their eyes was unmistakable. As they boarded their ship and left the stronghold behind, the reality of the situation began to set in. The familiar stars and planets of human space faded away, replaced by the vast, cold emptiness that lay between them and the hive. The journey through space was both eerie and tense, the silence occasionally broken by the distant echoes of battles already lost. The remnants of hive destruction were scattered across the void, shattered worlds and derelict ships serving as grim reminders of what awaited them. Each passing moment brought them closer to the heart of the hive, and with it, a growing sense of anticipation. Their approach to the hive's central system was fraught with tension. The once vibrant systems they passed through were now lifeless, consumed by the hive's relentless advance. The void was littered with the debris of countless battles, twisted metal and charred remains floating aimlessly. The brigade moved with caution, knowing that every moment brought them closer to the point of no return. The suspense was palpable, each member of the brigade mentally preparing for the inevitable confrontation. As the hive central system came into view, they could feel the enormity of what lay ahead. The heart of the enemy awaited, and with it, the final test of the bloodthirsty brigade's resolve. The brigade approached the hive's central mind with a single-minded focus, their ships slipping through the void towards the pulsating heart of the enemy. The hive's defenses were a nightmarish maze of living structures, organic walls that twisted and breathed as though the hive itself was a living entity. The very space around them seemed to pulse with a malignant energy, a constant reminder that they were deep within enemy territory. As they neared their objective, the hive responded with swarms of drone soldiers countless, identical creatures that moved with perfect coordination. These drones were relentless, pouring from every crevice and corner, their sheer numbers overwhelming by any standard measure of combat. But the brigade was no ordinary fighting force. They responded with brutal efficiency, cutting through the drones with a ferocity that matched the hive's relentless assault. Voss led the charge, his tactical mind directing his soldiers through the chaos 
finding weak points in the seemingly impenetrable defenses. Cade's raw strength was unleashed with devastating effect, smashing through drone ranks with a mixture of rage and precision. Myra's shots found their marks even in the most chaotic moments, each one taking down a critical target with lethal accuracy. Their advance was not a straightforward battle, but a brutal, methodical push through layers of defenses designed to stop anything that dared approach the hive's core. The hive fought back with everything it had, yet the brigade's ferocity was unstoppable, carving a bloody path through to the very heart of the hive. The inner sanctum of the hive was unlike anything the brigade had encountered before. The environment was suffused with an eerie, alien presence, a pulsating darkness that seemed to absorb all light and sound. The air itself felt thick and heavy, as if they were moving through the very essence of the hive's consciousness. The walls seemed to shift and breathe with the rhythm of the hive mind, each movement a subtle reminder that they were deep within an entity that was aware of every step they took. The overwhelming presence of the hive mind bore down on them, a constant pressure that made every thought feel like a struggle. This was the core of the enemy, a place where the hive's collective consciousness was at its strongest, and it took all of their willpower to resist the creeping influence that sought to invade their minds. As they pushed deeper into the hive's core, the psychological toll on the brigade became more apparent. The oppressive environment and the constant psychic assault of the hive mind began to wear down even the most hardened soldiers. Voss could feel the weight of every decision pressing down on him, the countless lives lost to the hive's onslaught echoing in his mind. Cade, usually unshakable, found himself grappling with an unfamiliar sense of doubt as the alien consciousness pressed against his thoughts, probing for weaknesses. Myra's sharp focus wavered as the hive's presence gnawed at her, stirring up memories she had long buried. Yet, despite the mental assault, they pressed on, their resolve unbroken. They knew that turning back was not an option. The mission had to succeed, no matter the cost. The battle within the hive's central mind was a test of endurance, a struggle that pushed the brigade to the very edge of their limits. The hive's forces were relentless, swarming them in tight corridors where every movement was a fight for survival. The combat was brutal and unforgiving, with no room for hesitation or doubt. Each member of the brigade fought with a savagery born of desperation, knowing that failure here would mean the end of humanity itself. They hacked and slashed their way through waves of drones, their weapons drenched in the icor of the hive soldiers. The air was thick with the sounds of battle, metal clashing against chitin, the roars of soldiers fighting for their lives, and the incessant, pulsing hum of the hive mind pressing in on all sides. But the brigade's ferocity was more than just a means of survival. It was their weapon against the hive's greatest strength, its unity. The coordinated, collective consciousness of the hive began to falter under the relentless assault. The brigade's brutality created chaos within the hive, disrupting its perfect synchronization. For the first time, the hive's drones moved with less precision, their attacks becoming disjointed and less effective. The brigade, sensing the shift, pushed harder, exploiting every crack in the hive's defenses. Voss directed their attacks with ruthless efficiency, each move calculated to maximize the disruption. Cade and Mira unleashed everything they had, their combined efforts tearing apart the hive soldiers and shaking the very foundations of the hive mind. In a final, desperate push, the brigade reached the core of the hive's central mind. Their relentless assault culminated in a moment of critical vulnerability. The hive, for the first time, faltered. The oppressive presence that had dominated the battlefield wavered, and in that brief moment of weakness, the brigade struck with everything they had. It wasn't a victory in the traditional sense, but a fleeting, crucial opening, a momentary breach in the hive's otherwise impenetrable defenses. This vulnerability, created by the sheer savagery and determination of the bloodthirsty brigade, sent a shockwave through the hive, a ripple of instability that would echo across the galaxy. The brigade, now battered and exhausted, found themselves deep in the heart of the hive, facing the final moments of their mission. They had pushed further than anyone had expected, but now the realization settled in. This was the end. There would be no return from this battle. The odds were insurmountable, the hive's forces endless, yet they stood their ground. Each soldier, worn down by the relentless fight, knew what was coming. Their bodies ached, 
their minds frayed, but their resolve remained unbroken. They exchanged glances, silent acknowledgments of the inevitable. There was no fear, only a grim acceptance and a shared understanding that their sacrifice was necessary. They had come this far, not for survival, but to ensure that their deaths would have meaning. As they prepared for the final assault, their thoughts turned to those they were leaving behind, the people they fought to protect, the future they hoped to secure. The hive, now reeling from the relentless assault on its central mind, began to collapse. The once impenetrable structures around them started to crumble, unable to withstand the disruption the brigade had caused. Drones malfunctioned, their movements erratic and disjointed, no longer guided by the flawless precision of the collective mind. The hive's collapse was chaotic, a violent unraveling of the perfect order it had once maintained. The brigade, in their final moments, unleashed everything they had left. Every weapon, every ounce of strength was poured into ensuring the hive's defeat. They fought not for survival, but to drive the final nail into the hive's coffin. As the structures around them fell and the drones disintegrated into chaos, the brigade knew they had succeeded. Their mission was complete, their goal achieved. But there was no time for triumph, only the fleeting satisfaction of knowing they had made a difference as the hive's collapse consumed them. In the aftermath, the hive was left in disarray, its once invincible facade shattered. Across the galaxy, humanity took note. The bloodthirsty brigade's sacrifice had given them a fighting chance, a glimmer of hope where there had been none. The news of their final stand spread like wildfire through the human systems. It was more than just a story of heroism. It was a symbol of what could be achieved through sheer determination and sacrifice. The brigade's actions inspired a renewed offensive, rallying forces that had been on the brink of despair. Their legacy was cemented in the hearts and minds of those who heard their tale. They were remembered as heroes, yes, but also as a stark reminder of the true cost of war. Their brutal tactics, their willingness to do whatever was necessary, became a benchmark for what it took to survive in this unforgiving galaxy. The memory of the brigade served both as an inspiration and a cautionary tale, a testament to the lengths humanity would go to protect its future. As the hive crumbled and the brigade faced their end, they sent out one final message. It was brief, but it carried the weight of their resolve and defiance. A message of hope not just for those who would continue the fight, but for all of humanity. We've opened the path. Now finish it. These words, spoken in their dying moments, became a rallying cry. It was a message that resonated across the stars, igniting a fire in the hearts of those who remained. The brigade was gone, but their spirit lived on, fueling the final stand against the hive, pushing humanity towards the victory they had sacrificed everything to achieve. Humanity was on the brink of extinction, but the bloodthirsty brigade's sacrifice changed everything. Their final message spread like wildfire through the remaining human forces, igniting a fierce determination to press forward, no matter the cost. The brigade's defiance in the face of certain death served as a rallying cry, a beacon of hope in the darkness. Their actions weren't just a testament to their bravery, but a stark reminder that the fight was far from over. Across the galaxy, Humans who had once been paralyzed by fear and despair now found themselves driven by a renewed sense of purpose. The brigade's sacrifice had bought them time, and they weren't about to let it go to waste. The human forces, now unified and resolute, launched a final, coordinated offensive against the weakened hive. This wasn't just a battle for survival. It was a fight to reclaim what had been lost, to drive the invaders back and secure a future for humanity. The tactics and strategies employed were ruthless, mirroring the ferocity of the bloodthirsty brigade. Inspired by their example, the human commanders directed their troops with an intensity that matched the desperation of the situation. There was no room for error, every move was calculated, every strike precise. The hive, once an unstoppable force, now found itself struggling to maintain its grip. Its once coordinated attacks were disjointed its drones no longer moving with the deadly precision they had before. The tide had turned, and humanity was finally on the offensive. The final battle was brutal, a clash of wills that left entire systems in ruins. Humanity's forces, driven by the memory of the brigade, pushed forward with an unwavering resolve. 
the hive, though weakened, still fought back with everything it had. The cost of victory was immense, with countless lives lost on both sides. Worlds were scorched, and fleets were decimated, but the human forces refused to relent. Every inch gained was paid for in blood, but they pressed on, driven by the knowledge that this was their last chance. In the end, the hive's defenses crumbled, and its strongholds were systematically dismantled. The invincible enemy was finally brought to its knees, but the victory came at a staggering cost. The galaxy lay in ruins, and the survivors were left to pick up the pieces of what was once a thriving civilization. In the aftermath of the war, humanity was left to grapple with the enormity of what had been lost. The destruction was widespread, entire planets reduced to ashes, and countless lives extinguished. The toll of the war was evident in every corner of the galaxy, from the devastated colonies to the battle-scarred soldiers who had fought so valiantly. Yet, amidst the ruins, there was also a sense of grim satisfaction. The hive had been defeated, its threat neutralized, and humanity had survived. But the cost had been staggering, and the scars left behind would take generations to heal. The memory of the bloodthirsty brigade loomed large in the collective consciousness, a stark reminder of the sacrifices that had been necessary to achieve victory.